Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video and the Caesar Chamber of Commerce has finally dropped in the game. Obviously we saw this as part of... Um, an announcement for what was coming in November. It's dropped into the game today. It's on version 0.258, which is currently only available uh, on Android. So iOS users, you're gonna have to wait maybe a few hours for this to become available in the Benefit Center because you do have to upgrade to 258. Let's have a look at Imperium News, see what it says. At the cham Chamber of Commerce, Lords may choose one of out of the projects to make an investment and receive revenues after the investment ends. Lords may update the Caesar Chamber of Commerce to have the revenue multiplier updated randomly. After the investment, Lords will receive their revenues in the form of the items based on the multiplier. Do not terminate an investment midway because no revenues will be delivered to you in that case. The investment cost will be returned to you though. All right, so if we go into Benefit Center, Caesar Chambers of Commerce, here we are. It's on for the next 14 days, 12 hours. And if we click on the info icon, it says when the Chamber of Commerce is available, Lords may choose one out of the portfolio to invest in and earn some revenue. So it looks like this is going to be coming back into the game periodically throughout the year. There are targeted and advanced investments. The advanced investment can be unlocked by purchasing any packs. Yes, of course, there is a premium element to this. And the advanced investment can be updated every day for free and the chances to update will be reset daily. Each product has its own investment duration and expected revenue. You'll get some bonus based on the revenue upon the end of the investment. If you terminate the investment way through, you will not get your revenue. So each time we have six options available here and you can see that there is one here which says targeted investment cannot be updated. Now, this is the one that is available for everyone and um, you can see that this is set to Oracalcum and the duration is seven days and you'll get a return, a revenue of 10%. So um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Just talking about the different options available so far in terms of the different items you can invest in, I've seen Oricalcum, Gems, uh, Courage Medals, Gold, Lumber, Iron, Food and Marble. Of course, most people I'm sure won't bother investing in the basic resources. It's going to be either uh, Gems, Courage Medals or Oricalcum everyone's going to want to invest in. Unfortunately, as it said, you do have to purchase to be able to unlock the other um, advanced options. So if you click on it, you just get this purchase any packs to unlock all investment products, but at least it is any pack. Um, so I, again, I guess that opens that up to smaller spenders if you're buying your monthly um immigration permit pack or something then this should obviously open up this uh, now if we look at the kind of durations and revenue so you'll see on here for the advanced um, for instance this gems it has a three-day duration and you'll get a 25 percent return so you can see um, the lower levels are in blue so for this courage medal it's six percent seven percent for this or a calcum medium levels of return are in purple so they considered ten percent uh, up to 20% I think as um, like medium level and then you can see that this food and the gems is the higher level it's colored orange and you're getting 25% return on your investment so probably for gems over three days that would be a good return uh, with the oricalcum um, if we have a look at it you see you get an investment agreement it tells you the duration the revenue that you'll get back so that your return and, the, and now there is a minimum and maximum investment needed. So uh, you can invest a minimum of 100 or a maximum of 1500. So your return would be, if you just invest 100, it's 10 and 1500 is 150. So basically you're generating 150 Oracalcum for free in a week. Um, it's not a huge amount, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, the other thing to consider is that obviously like real world investments when your um, assets are if you place like money into an investment then that's not available to you and it's the same premise for this so if you say only have 2000 or a calcum in your account and you invest 1500 into this investment agreement for the week then you'll only actually have 500 left 
Um, so it's just something to think about if you're looking to upgrade your castle perhaps to like a new level, um, then you might want to consider holding that off until um, the your invest well, and so you can take advantage of this investment agreement and get a, a little bit extra oracalcum for free. The other thing that it talks about is these refreshes. So you can see up here, you get 10 refreshes a day, and this will allow you uh, basically just to change these five advanced options. So this will not, the targeted one, which is available for everyone, that won't change. That's a flat rate. So if we click on it, you'll just see it will change up what's available to you. And at reset, it will go back to, um, it will give you another 10 options for the next day. So there you go, 18% oricalcon, that would be a nice one. And you can see it's pretty random, only 6% courage medals, you wouldn't want to do that. Looks like the maximum revenue you can get is 25% uh, back. I haven't seen any higher than that, and I've done some refreshes on some other accounts. But of course, pop in the comment section down below if you have seen more than 25%. And you can see there's a reasonable mix of uh, the different types of of resources and options available to you. 18% um, or a calcum again there. So um, those are basically the, the mechanics of it. I am going to, I was planning on upgrading my castle to 28 uh, this week, but I want to do the investment uh, just to show you guys. So um, all you have to do is, um, actually I'm gonna jump into solo and I'll just show you how you, what it looks like when you sign an investment from there. I think that'll be the best thing to do. So just bear with me a second. I'll jump into solo, we'll show you that and uh, then we'll finish off the video. So here we are, I've jumped over into Pond Solo and uh, you can see I've already done some refreshes on here as well, 25% uh, on the gems there. And you can see the durations differ, uh, one day, three day, five days, etc. Uh, so for signing your agreement, you just click on this option uh, for those of us that won't be unlocking packs. And then you choose how much you want to invest. So uh, let's invest the full amount of 1500 so I maximize my return. Click invest. And that's it, you're done. You can see that uh, this logo here changes so you are already invested in our product and it will be claimable in, uh, and the countdown starts seven days time basically. And you can see that it's got this little seal over the icon, uh, over the option there. And that's basically everything you can do. The only other thing is obviously you can click on your investment and if you wanted to get your Oracalcum back because, I don't know, you wanted to do an upgrade that week and you've made a mistake and you're not bothered about the, the, the return you're going to get, the 150 return, you can, can click on Abandon and then it'll ask you if you want to terminate uh, midway through. You won't get the revenue, so you can abandon it and get your whatever you've invested back if you needed it in an emergency. And that's basically all the functionality of Caesar Chamber of Commerce. What do you guys think about it? It's not a great extra in the game, but it's a little something extra, I guess. And um, for you spenders, obviously, if you're buying packs anyway um, and you have high levels, you're going to be able to take advantage of this and, and obtain multiple investments over the coming days, particularly if it's just a one or three day investment you're doing and you're getting like up to 25% back. Uh, it's not going to be a bad benefit for those players. And it's just a little something extra in the game, isn't it? Um, if you've liked this video, then please do click on that like. And if you could please share this video and my channel in your Alliance chat, Province chat, and through Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.